You want some clothes, man? No time. Man, like I said, last time a big naked dude. A true classic never dies, but with the passage of time, its age does begin to seep through. What's going on guys, my name is Cynic, and today we're going to be talking about Saints Row 3 Remastered. Now this is a little bit of a deviation from the normal content I upload, but with Saints Row 3 being an all-time favorite of mine, and the folks over at Volition and Spiritsoft were also kind enough to send me a review copy, I figured what the hell, let's take a trip down memory lane, return to Stillport, and relive the 2010s, which this game is just gushing with the dated humor that I love. Now before we jump into it, like I said, uh, this game was provided to me completely free of charge however i was not paid to say anything positive this review is completely 100 my honest opinion and all the gameplay you're going to be seeing in this video was captured on pc with all the settings completely maxed out which this game is optimized perfectly for my rig is pretty dated and i was able to max out the settings while recording simultaneously and i still didn't have any issues now if you guys ever played the original saints row 3 then there's nothing really different here narratively speaking just like with any other remaster the main selling point here is is a nine-year-old game with all of its DLC at a price less than a normal AAA price as this game is priced at 40 bucks. The catch here is just like with any other remaster, a uh, boosted up graphics, better lighting, improved character design, just pretty much giving this game an overall facelift to bring it up to the current generation standard for gaming. And on the surface this game does that very well. As a matter of fact in the first mission you can already notice a stark difference. As soon as you enter that bank lobby just the, the sun shining through made my jaw hit the ground and honestly made me excited for what Saints Row 5 is going to be looking like. I mean, going from the original to the remaster, uh, not only can you notice a difference in lighting, but you can notice improved character designs. Weapons were completely remodeled. Specifically, the Shepard 45 by itself looks like an entirely different gun. Now looking like it has much more weight to it, a little bit bulkier, with a nice chrome finish. There's a scene in the elevator where you have a close-up of Josh as he puts on his Gap mask. Now in the original, those masks looked like perfect plastic helmets, while in the remaster, you can see scuff marks, you can see dents, you can see overall imperfections and shadows being reflected off those imperfections. There's more life brought into the overall environment with reflective floors, reflective walls. Overall character designs and facial expressions are much more profound with some characters getting complete overhauls. Pierce being a notable character in the situation, his suit resembles much more designer clothing rather than just a bland white outfit. He also has a little bit of a different face with his face being thinner and longer. The amount of detail like I showed in the beginning of the video on Oleg is really good but out of all the characters, I think top notch is Kilbane. Kilbane looks clean. Almost every single cutscene he's in has a much more cinematic feel attached to it than all the other cutscenes, and probably because they paid so much attention to the amount of detail in him. It just makes him the star of every cutscene he's in. But while we're on the topic of details, uh, character customization was always good in Saints Row 3, but they have another noticeable difference with, with the hair being upgraded, not looking like it's made of plastic like the masks were. They improved the details in the boss overall. As a matter of fact, in the first cutscene where they introduced him, they added in jewelry, just a nice little touch, improved designs in outfits, and some nice menu improvements as well, most notable which at Friendly Fire. Now you can actually spin your weapons around, look at the new weapon models for every single gun that you own. They also added in some improved physics, which is very noticeable with the Penetrator, which is probably one of the most iconic melee weapons in video games. Unfortunately, in YouTube's current state, I don't think I'm able to even show it, but just know it is in the game. It does look better, and it's just as funny as it always been just to be able to beat people down in the street with this damn thing. Next up, I want to move into sound design. For the most part, everything is the same, just, you know, obviously sounding a little better, a little crisper, you know, take it how you want. But for me personally, I wish they made some of the weapons sound like they had a little bit more oomph to them. I've always felt like the weapon sounds in Saints Row 3 made the guns sound like they were a little weak, but that's just my stance on that. All the bass sounds are the same, but what immediately jumped out to me was the Krukov or the assault rifle you use in the first mission to rob that bank. In the remastered version, sounds a little bit more prominent, a little louder, or not deafening in any way or any major changes. It's just a little louder. Here, take a look for yourself. I can't believe you launched that guy into a statue. I can't believe you're still thinking about it. Do you want to know who these people are? Listen, all that matters is the vault. Let's find that and get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, oh, get up, Burke. Let's keep moving. Listen, all that matters is the ball. It's fine now. Get the hell out of here. And that is 
no alteration on my part. That is just pure gameplay. So with the remastered, you're getting improved character designs, improved weapon designs, upgraded sound designs. You also have a little bit more traffic in the streets, both as far as pedestrians and vehicles go. And again, on PC, it's optimized very well, but there are some bugs plaguing the game that I want to point out. Driving around, you're going to be running into some bugs, at least on PC that I was, where cars would randomly just spawn into each other, then explosions would go off based off of that, which is just kind of funny how it is, but when you're in the middle of a mission and that shit happens to you right in front of you and you're looking behind you, it can get annoying very quickly. There's also pop-ins that are noticeable in some cutscenes, which is a little distracting, and uh, there's this thing where Brutes and Oleg himself can't go upstairs right. For whatever reason, whenever they come across stairs, they start to run very slowly, which is cool, you know, it makes a brute an easy target for you, but when you're on a mission with Oleg and you gotta wait because his ass forgets how to walk up a flight of stairs and he himself is like a combination of 18 people, it's just, it, it just looks weird. It's funny, but it looks weird. And I also had these two major bugs where at one point an entire section of the city was just randomly inaccessible for me. When I tried to come across it, uh, frame rates would drop, I'd be rubber banding the same spot. I decided to get out of the car and try to run on the street and I ended up getting stuck right there on the corner. The way I was able to get out of that, I was actually close enough to jump to my car, which got me unstuck, but that whole section was walled off. So even if I tried to go around, the same exact problem happened. After trying to restart the game, it, it just force crashed. Restarting the game fixed it for me, but that was really weird. And also in the first mission where, where you rob the weapons from the military armory, when you're escaping with that armory and Shawnee's to your right, I had a bug where she would pop in and out and when that would happen, the audio for my weapon would cut in and out and the muzzle flash would completely disappear, which in the recording came out perfectly fine because this is actually a second run, but the first run was <laughs> pretty bad. Anyways, to wrap this up, all in all, for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, if you have played Saints Row 3 and you liked the original, it's a no-brainer. You know, you're able to play a game that you enjoyed the first time around on the next generation of console or the current generation of console with improved graphics, physics, foot traffic, sound design, all that nice, wonderful stuff. Just remember, you're not getting anything brand new that you haven't experienced before. But since nine years have passed, I'm sure it's going to be like a brand new game. I forgot a lot of these sections. I don't remember running around on a mission butt-ass naked. By the way, this game relies very heavily on sex for humor, which again is a little dated, but it is what it is. Regardless, it's a good game with a lot of DLC and given a lot of people are stuck home under quarantine, it's definitely worth the money, especially on Xbox and PlayStation 4. However, if you're on PC, it's a little bit of a harder sell because uh, you can get the full Saints Row experience. You can buy Saints Row 3, all of its DLC on Steam for less than half the price. 15 bucks, all the DLC main Saints Row 3 game compared to this, which is priced at 40 bucks. So you'd be paying a little bit more than double the price for just a bump in graphics. And since there's nothing here that's not in the original game or in the DLC that you can buy from the original game nine years ago, it's kind of hard to say it's worth the money. If you're a graphics snob, then definitely. But if, but if you're looking for something just to kill time and enjoying this game, then I don't see a problem in buying the original. Just know it is a nine-year-old game and in some respects it is pretty dated. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Have you guys tried the Saints Row 3 Remastered? What do you guys think? Have you played it on PlayStation or Xbox? Have you guys ran into any bugs? Let's talk all things Saints Row down in the comment section. But like always, guys, my name is Cynic. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, my friends, I'll see you all later.